I am Gregory, and this has been Zane. Yes, oh my goodness. A first to my collection. I'm very curious about it, but I've heard the occasional complaint about this brand. So this is a Bennu, and I believe it should be a Talisman. <laughs> and yeah, I have no Bennu pens in my collection. It's one I've been very curious about. It had to be just the right one, because if you know Bennu fountain pens, their pens are very uh, glitzy, <laughs> um, which is, is cool, and they're beautiful to look at, but would you want to be seen out in public writing with it? In my case, many, many times, no. <laughs> uh, but this one, I think, is an exception. Um, yeah, but it's still a beautiful pen. So, without further ado, let's really dive into it. I, I would sort of call this a grail, but, I mean, it's not like it was hard to find or anything. It's just the price was never quite right, and then it was. <laughs> and people have complimented them on their, their simple packaging. Oh, it's a blue cartridge. Uh, I was hoping for black, but I guess blue could come out of a brown pen, right? Ooh, did I just give it away? <laughs> uh, what's under here gives it away, but I'm not going to fully uncover that. Um, yeah, so let's, let's just... Nice packaging. never seen one in person and honestly the camera's not doing this justice at all very interesting <laughs> wow Very interesting. Yes, so this is the Bennu ta Talisman in Green Bean. I was not expecting little green specks in there. It's nice. Yeah, this this is well. Probably their pens in general are are hard to truly capture in video or photos. It's it has a little weight to it, a comfortable weight to it, um, but I would consider it a light pen. I really like how that's concave. <laughs> that's nice. Yeah, and this is domed. Yeah, very cool. There's the nib. It seems like a long, skinny nib. That's interesting. And this should be broad. Ah, yes, right there. You can make out a fancy B. Well, that maybe that stands for Bennu, actually. <laughs> Come to think of it. Um, but I don't see any other designations on here. So I'm going to assume that's B for broad. Um, yeah, that's a, definitely a broad tip there. Very cool.
honestly, I have to say, <laughs> I I would I would I would expect a nicer converter than this in a pen at this price point. I mean, I suppose it, you know, it works fine. I think I've seen converters in in Jin Hao pens that look better than this. <laughs> But, you know, as long as it holds the ink, that, that's all that matters, really. Um, a small complaint. I don't want to put blue ink in this pen. <laughs> I, I just don't. Um, I was just going to put uh, whatever converter came with it, or rather, whatever cartridge came with it. But I don't want to put blue ink. I wish these brands would, would do black ink instead of blue. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Let's see. It does post, but it, well, sort of. Uh, yeah, you could do that in a pinch. It definitely makes it back weighted. That's, that's uh, perfect right there. Nice length. It's pretty light without the cap. It's pretty darn light without the cap. I will say that. And this is coming from a lover of heavy pens. But my first impressions are this, this, this is a nice looking pen. And very happy I have added it to my collection. Yeah, very nice, very nice. But the question is, what do we ink it up with? <laughs> okay, before I choose an ink, um, we can look at the stuff I, I didn't want to spoil earlier. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it comes with product information and lifetime warranty. And this had the spoiler, Dream Beans. Ooh, that is cool. I don't know that I remember anyone showing this in, in detail before. Um, I could be wrong. That's cool. One side, but that's okay. Very cool. <laughs> Talks about the inspiration for the, the color. And speaking of color, I selected a color. Uh, this is new to my collection. And specifically because there are those little green specks in there, <laughs> uh, I chose a green because I, I'm, I'm sure I don't have too many pens inked up with green. So, new to my collection is Kaveco Palm Green. This is the Bennu Talisman with a broad nib. And it's is it dream bean or dream beans? <laughs> dream bean. And the ink is First of all, I like that green a lot. I'm very pleased with that green. A nice dark green. I think it complements the pen nicely. Of course, brown goes with everything. <laughs> um, yeah. Still wet. Um, I don't know that this ink has any any traits in particular. Um, wow, it's still wet up there. <laughs> it's 
So it could be a slow drying ink. Could be a slow drying ink. But as far as the pen, because we're here to talk about the pen, right? <laughs> uh, I am not disappointed at all. Uh, oh yeah, and it has the little hinged um, clip. Yes, but the it's not the smoothest nib I've used, but it's pretty darn smooth. Just a, the tiniest hint of feedback. So very, very pleased. Very pleased. My first Bennu. Will it be my last? I, I don't know. Um, I, I don't know. I would be curious to try their stub nibs if they if they have them. Um, I'm, I would think they do, but uh, yeah. Anyway, this has been the Bennu Talisman with a broad nib in Dream Bean with Kaveco Palm Green Ink. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.